In this show, you can join in the action from home. Download the Poker Play Along app from your app provider. We still have a full boat here in Heat 3 of the PokerStars.com Shark Cage, with all six players remaining. But that doesn't mean we haven't seen any action. First hand I've ever played against Ronaldo, just block quads. Big mouth Brit Sam Crafton bossed the table early on. See you later, Jay. Get me the hell out of here. Sending two players to the cage before losing a massive hand to Ronaldo. Are we? <laughs> <laughs> and with a cage fighter currently occupying the um, cage, let me out of here. The prospect of getting bluffed is even less appealing right now. Put it this way, I'm not getting sent to the cage now. He looks pretty angry. Roll with the punches. Don't get knocked out. Make the final. Are you ready? Are you ready? Let's get it on. It won't be long before we leave Paradise and set sail to Monaco for the remaining heats and the six-figure final table. But before we cast off, there must be a winner here in Heat 3. Let's take a look at who stands the best chance out on the big blue. Our current chip leader is chess and poker whiz Jennifer Shahadi, with a stack of over 1.7 million. I'm feeling great. I have the chip lead, and I know that I still have to say cool, but also knowing that I am going to make the right decisions. Next is Brazilian football icon Ronaldo, with just under 1.3 million. Eu vim focado para ganhar. Eu tô contente com a minha evolução e eu acho que tá na hora de ganhar um torneio importante. Absolutamente. Se eu vencer o Sharkade, vai ser a minha Copa do Mundo. Despite two trips to the cage, MMA fighter Tito Ortiz is third with close to 1.2 million. I'm inside the cage, feeling like a loser, but knowing that I still got an opportunity, I still believe I'm going to come back and win. My mentality is never quit. Our Irish qualifier, Connor, is hanging in there with nearly his starting stack. It was a bit shaky to start off with, but definitely got into it after a level or two. I can pick my spots amongst the players. And once it gets down to 4, 3, 2, then it's anyone's game. Jake Cody's already been to the cage and is struggling after losing half his stack. Yeah, at this point, I'm a little bit annoyed. The blinds have just gone up, so I'm short sat now. But, you know, I feel like I get right back in it. But his mega mouth mate and fellow Brit Sam Grafton is the table shorty and in danger of being first out for a second time. Obviously, it would be a nightmare to go out first again, but whatever happens today, I can go away with a smile on my face because like, one of the things I wanted to do has been ticked off to put Jake in the shark cage. So one in the cage, five at the table. Heat three continues. How's it feeling in there? It's actually not too bad. These uh, poles are really cold. Random. Who would you rather have in there with you? <laughs> you? <laughs> <laughs> not in the hand. <laughs> Good answer. <laughs> She's got a boyfriend, Tito. Don't ask how I know. Jake, he's going to be joining you, I predict. I was going to say, can someone else join me over here? Yeah, I'll, kind I'll of lonely. Mate. Jake's also spoken for. Cage buddies. Connor, on the other hand, Maybe single. Whatever your relationship status, you're welcome to join in the action at home using our Poker Play Along app. Blinds right now, 10.20 with a 5K ante. Now's when the real poker starts. Seriously, we have to get to a winner by the end of the show. Action's on Sam, he folds. Connor's got junk. Well, that goes in the muck. Round to Ronaldo. 8.5. The back to the future hand. It's gonna raise at 1.21 gigawatts. Carl. Nope, he's going to limp. I'd share that, too. Check. Jake checks his option in the big blind. There's cage potential here. Can we we know someone's going broke, 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 isn't it, Connor? Someone's going broke this hand, and we're just like... Like WWSD. What would Sam do? Yeah. You fold it. <laughs> yeah, he also might go out sixth. Pair of eights for Ronaldo. Nothing for Jake. He checks. As does Ronaldo. Well, Jake now can't win the hand outright. My guess is his hand's so bad he could bluff hard enough to get three people to fold, let alone his hero, Ronaldo. Jake has checked it. 
Will Ronaldo bet and get him the fold? Check. No. It's in play, Tito. It's in play. He's talking about the cage. Nine of spades on the river. Action on Jake. Will he bluff? He's got the second nut low. There's no way he lets his check to showdown. His shot clock's running. But can he bet enough to get Ronaldo to fold a better hand? Ten seconds. There's a bet. Looks like a small bet, but it was over half the pot. And there's the bluff card. Ronaldo's hand probably too strong. Call. He calls. And we're looking at Jake Cody again. Oh, cage buddies. Cage Jody. <laughs> Good luck, Jake. Kings and eggs. Slow played the old pair, didn't he, Jakey? Off you go. Inducing. Ronaldo just owning people. I feel like I should be a bit scared right now. <laughs> Could I see your ID, please? <laughs> My money's on Tito. Are you ready? Let's get it on! <laughs> and Ronaldo gets 2K. And RJ Chip. Thanks. Yeah, he needs the money. Ronaldo just punishing the English. Absolutely punishing us. Still smiling from when he stacks Sam. Feels like a disco cage in here. <laughs> you guys seem to be getting along in there. Having a great time. Great time. <laughs> <laughs> but like disco bunnies in here. What's a disco bunny? Yeah, keep looking, Sam. You're going to be coming up here next, so. Should be doing some kind of dance. You know, we could throw, we could throw $1 <laughs> notes at you guys. If you... I'd like to see the lift. Yeah. Nice lift there. Tito bench pressing Jake. <laughs> Don't tempt him. You wish he would. It's a little bit scary being in the shark cage with a cage fighter. I feel like I should be a bit scared right now. Lift the cage. I think I could bend these bars. People could break out. <laughs> <laughs> Obviously, it's pretty intimidating to be that up close and personal with Tito. Hey! <laughs> Anytime Jake gets put in the hurt locker where he's made to suffer, I can take pleasure from that. That's not a situation you want to find yourself in, really. But he's a good guy. Jake's just scared Tito's going to figure out he's ginger. <laughs> Meanwhile, they both just missed a hand. Hey. Hey. <laughs> oh. 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 One hand. And Tito would have had aces. <laughs> it's a long, long time in the... Welcome back, bruv. Tito out, Jake stays. We've all got heroes, Jake, but you deliberately wore what Tito was wearing. <laughs> Coordinated. Yeah. I had to change the shoes, You stay so. here. He made me change the shoes. Release the Titan. He's going to pick up a pair of red moccasins when he next can. Maybe at the all airport right. or something. Maybe if he clicks his heels three times, he'll get out of there. Sly, my pretties. <laughs> Weird. Take your time, guys. Yeah, guys. Guys. You know, it's talk like that that keeps women out of the game. Unreal, Jake. Action on Sam. He folds. Connor's got 810 suited. 55. That's a raise. King seven suited for Jennifer. 120. And she re-raises. Re-raising with a not-so-stellar hand, but one that could flop pretty well if she's called. Action back on Connor. I called. We're gonna see a flop. Connor's gonna be out of position. And with dominated spades. Ooh, two spades on the flop. Yikes. Action checked to the aggressor. Jen bets. And Connor can't fold this flush draw. I caught. Another spade would be the worst thing that happened to a Connor since Drynan lost aces versus it. You know what? There's nothing worse than that. The turn card is a club, a seven, so a pair now for Jennifer. And the action goes check, check, which means the shark cage is in play. A 10 on the river sees Connor take the lead. Raise. He's raising from zero. 200,000. Well, this is likely to be a value bet from our qualifier. 
And he's doing a great job betting for value in a spot where it might look like he's bluffing a lot. Jennifer with second pair. Michael. She calls. Jen may be giving Connor too much credit there for being able to run a cagey bluff. Lock times, lock times. Nice one, Connor. And that's what you look like when your bluff catcher's no good. Somebody make a meme out of that. Meanwhile, it's time to spin the cage again. I'm back. Cody unleashed. Welcome back, Jakey. Release the Jaken again. Here he is, the man who can't help himself. Ronaldo's happy. He's like, the fish is back. I can start playing some hands now. <laughs> Blinds now 12,000, 24,000 with an 8,000 ante. A7 for Connor. That's a fold. King 10 for Jen. She also passes. Ronaldo's out. Tito with suited connectors. He folds the 6 5. All these players had some short stacks behind them. All in. Jake moves all in with Ace Queen. And gets caught by Sam with fives. It's a race, like pizza versus french fries. Good luck, boys. <laughs> Good luck, boys. <laughs> Mine has got a shot at least. It's like the first person. All right, buddy. It's who isn't the first person out. It's not even like <laughs> to win it. Yeah, yeah we, were like, we were like dreaming, yeah. We're heads up for the, for the final. Yeah, Ronaldo, he's happy. Look at him. Yeah, he's chilling. Yeah. He lives in Sao Paulo. He's a World Cup winner. He's pretty laxed over here. We're sweating it, buddy. We're absolutely sweating this. Can't hear Sam and Sao Paulo. Oh, mate, oh, made for TV. We're, we're, we're. So Sam is the player at risk here. And Jake has paired his queen on the flop. And no one is more relieved than the audio guy. It's not a good flop for you. No, that was not a good flop. And Tito folded a five. Brutal. <laughs> they, yeah, they'll just cut all the hands and be like, yeah, Sam Grafton, he was out. <laughs> Set to be out first again. We pick up the action at Sam Grafton's bus. <laughs> Get five-handed. <laughs> Sam with just a 5% chance of survival. 3%. A little bit, a little bit too close for comfort. That. He's got one out. Right out of five. You got four out of five. You got one. Oh, <laughs> thanks for the contribution, Tio. Glad you could. You got one out. <laughs> <laughs> to be fair, he only needs one. Sam needs the five of hearts. But that's the two of diamonds, which means we say goodbye to Sam Grafton. Again. Oh, so good meeting you, man. So good. An honor, sir. A real honor. Nice playing with you. Good game, Sam. Yeah, nice game with you. I see you later. Yes. Connor. Good game. Bash these guys up for me, yeah? Good luck. Good luck. <laughs> play it again, Sam. Literally. You're going to have to play here a third time if you want to not finish in sixth. It's a nightmare to go out first. He won the flip because he runs unbelievable, this kid. You're never going to beat him in the flips. One out. I mean, is that even a real thing to happen? Fair play to Ronaldo and Tito. It's like, but they don't play poker. For it. I'm supposed to be good at this game. I'm actually supposed to be, know what I'm doing. And I'm out first again. Don't forget you can join in the action from home. Make sure you download the Poker Play Along app. Lightning has struck twice at the PokerStars.com shark cage. Sam Grafton is the first out again. <laughs> he may be used to having the last word. If red moccasins are gonna take off in the UK, then you know this is probably the time. You tried to get all out of line, didn't it? Tried to get all funky, didn't you? <laughs> tried to get all limpy, trappy, bluffy. <laughs> We've all got heroes, Jake, but you deliberately wore what Tito was wearing. Coordinated. Yeah. <laughs> but his buddy Jake is having the last laugh. We definitely have a little bit of a rivalry, so at least that is a little bit of revenge I get for him. I can definitely give him banter about being the first out twice. I found it hysterical. Absolute debacle. I'm fuming. Still got the last word in. It's the start of, start of the comeback. <laughs> she can't get rid of me. <laughs> oh. It's gone pretty quiet since Sam left. <laughs> he wants to take off the mantle. Ronaldo. Shh, shh, shh. Let's just enjoy this. Mm-hmm. 
So is this more or less fun than you expected? Yeah, well, not first out, I suppose. Sam likes doing that. It's oh, kind of it's yeah, a signature. Of course I am. <laughs> Play it again, Sam. I already <laughs> said that. But if you want to be original, you can play along on the app, you dingus. As we rejoin the action, the forced bets, or blinds as I like to call them, are 15,000 and 30,000 with the 10,000 ante. Action folded to Jen. She passes. As does Ronaldo. Oh, I can't. Tito limping from the small blind. Limping in like he's been injured in a figure four leg lock. Is a figure four a thing in MMA? Jake has him dominated with Ace Jack. Because I just found out they don't do the rock bottom. Are you serious? I wish I knew what you were talking about. That's a raise from Jake. Call. The rock bottom? The tombstone? The stone cold stunner? I take it back. I have no interest in what you're talking about. I have no interest in you. Well, they both pair their Jack. Jake with the better kicker. Pretty bad flop for Tito, but not terrible because at least he's not out kicked on top pair. Tito checks. Jake checks behind. Little pot control. Things get better for Jake. He now has the nut flush draw to go with his pair of jacks. Tito checks a second time. And Jake's got too much equity to not bet this now. He doesn't even mind getting called by a king because if Tito's got one, Jake's got lots of outs. A solid bet from Mr. Cody. Tito, the second pair, decent kicker. This is gonna cost Tito a chunk, like a divorce settlement. Norman Chad knows what I'm talking about. Time ticking away. 10 seconds. Call. And that means we're going to the river. And the cage is in play. It's the 10 of clubs, so it's a straighty board. Jake has a lock on this. Tito checks for a third time. Maybe trying to bluff catch. Jake doesn't have nearly the nuts, but I wonder if he still bets this for value. Whatever he's gonna do. He's got just over 15 seconds left to do it in. Well, that's a bet. And he is sliding out. The value card. It's thin bets like this that make Jake one of the best in the game. Tito has even less nearly the nuts, but if he folds and he's wrong, he's going back to the cage. And this is a worse spot than being asked which of your girlfriend's friends you find attractive. Ten second warning. I call. Tito tries to bluff catch, but Jake reveals it was a value bet. Thin call, Tito. Oh. Good hand. The comeback is well and truly on. I knew he didn't have a king. Damn. <laughs> you beat every jack too? Besides, hmm? besides my hand, you, you beat every jack? Yeah. That's it, Jake. Tell me you played it good. But getting pushed around, I hate that. <laughs> Had enough of getting bullied? Yep. When I was about 13 years old. <laughs> and I stood up and punched him in his face. He never bullied me again. Great story. Jake's happy he won the hand, but also he's peeing a little. <laughs> Action on Ronaldo. Queen Jack suited. Crow. That's a Gibbons. Pose. I know Ronaldo's a little slower on his feet these days, but he sure does love a limp. Ace Jack again for Jake. That's a race. Back around to Ronaldo. Carl. Who executes the double Gibbons. Nice one. That's how he got Sam with aces, but this time he's dominated. Neither player connects with the flop. Ronaldo checks. Jake continues. Call. Wow. Ronaldo decides to see another card. Weird float from Ronaldo, but he does have two overs and backdoor clubs. 
What, you think Ronaldo's going in the clubs through the front door of Vamu? Yeah, he picks up the flush draw on the turn, checks a second time. If Jake bets again this time, Ronaldo will have to call. 15 seconds. 10 seconds. Five seconds. 250. Jake bets. Call. And Ronaldo calls, taking us to the river. The cage in play once again. The final community card is the six of hearts. The board is bricked out for Ronaldo. Jake has the best hand with ace high. Check. And Ronaldo decides not to bluff. And his hand looks a lot stronger than it is. I don't think Jake thinks there are many better hands he can get to fold here. Jake may elect to take the free showdown value here. Ten seconds. He checks. And ace high is good. That's the face of a man who bricked harder than the third little pig. That's another pot for Jake Cody. He is not making many friends here. Don't worry, Jake. I'll be your friend. He has taken the chip lead. I've gone in the cage twice. I've come back. V in the short stack. Luckily, managed to win a flip against Sam. Get right back in it. Start of the comeback. Won some more hands, and then all of a sudden, I'm the chip leader. Just can't get rid of me. <laughs> I am not happy to see Jake picking up all those chips, because yeah, he's just really good. So I was hoping they would go to somebody else. It shows how a pro can come back with style and skill. And this is it, I've, I've come back, I'm just gonna crush now. Now I'm feeling confident, I'm just ready to play. Let's just call it skill, Tito. Jake's style is a little too Native American urban skateboarder monk for my liking. So Jake's table captain right now. Tito is the shortest stack, but by no means short stacked. We're still playing 1530 blinds. You know, it's been a while since I've said anything that would make Tito want to punch me, so I thought this might be a good time to bring up his role in zombie strippers. Let's just say he was quite believable as Bouncer. Tito with sixes. He's limped in. Ace 10 for Connor. Oh. He limps as well. Is no one going to raise? King 10 for Jen. She completes from the small blind. 100. Ronaldo raises. Yeah, a boy. I shall call. See, Tito's got range. Let's gamble, ladies and gentlemen. Connor's in as well. But Jen folds. Oh, come on, Jen. So three way to the flop. Tito with the best hand right now. Still with the best hand. Ronaldo still playing 8-10 of diamonds aggressively. I like it. Nice job with the C-bet, Ronaldo. Go. Tito calls. Connor faults. Heads up to the turn. Tito calling with some good instincts. Deuce of spades. Doesn't change much. Not a bad card for Tito. Check. Ronaldo slowed down. Good spot to check behind. That's what happens, meaning we're going to the cage street. It's time for the river card. Nice. Which is an ace. Ace, two, three, five, what is that? It's nothing, is it? It's not a straight, Joe. Check. Ronaldo checks. Tito might think he has to bluff at this. We know a check behind is good. <sighs> 150. Tito bets. Is this a value bet or a bluff? I guess we'll find out. Wow, he's betting sixes for value here. He does have the best hand. Unfortunately, Ronaldo's hand folds easier than the futon that is supposedly keeping me from having a girlfriend. Oh. Wow, Ronaldo shoves. What? Ronaldo is capable. He slides forward the bluff card. I am more impressed than 100% of parents when their babies do the most mundane things. 
Surely Tito folds here and goes back into the cage for a third time. But if he calls and he's wrong, he's out. He's running out of time. Time. He's requested more. You mean people sit back and nothing again? Damn. <laughs> I think there's a really good chance that's going to happen. This is what happens when you value bluff the river with third pair, bouncer. A battle between the two sports stars. An extraordinarily tough decision for Tito. Ronaldo giving nothing away. And Tito's running out of time again. Pro fighter Tito Ortiz has been hit by a Ronaldo sucker punch. As athlete versus athlete. I did the right. With the decision for all his chips, Tito's next move will determine which of them is heading to the cage. I don't want to go to the cage for the third time. It wasn't cool the first two times. I need to know! Tito Ortiz is on the ropes at the PokerStars.com shark cage. Ronaldo has bluffed the river, and unless Tito can dig out a haymaker of his own, he'll be heading to the cage for the third time. This is the tensest moment on this show since Shannon Elizabeth realized she wasn't getting her own dressing room. This is half the episode. <laughs> I call. Wow, Tito finds a call, and that means he shows Ronaldo's oh. going to the cage! Great call, Tito. And Ronaldo will be left with just 34,000. I think I don't need to go to the cage. I, I go we straight to, <laughs> to my room. Yes. <laughs> nope, you're still in. Just. Could be going. This is a first for Shark Cave. <laughs> I read that one right. Oh. I, mean, I make you think. I'm... You made me think. <laughs> no, no reason to watch him call because he stopped playing Ronaldo, with his cards. Gonna... Ronaldo has live tells. Arigado. <laughs> Lock up Ronaldo. I'm just happy I just won 2K. Yes. Yeah, there you go. Ronaldo's still pretty proud of himself, and he should be. Ah, uh, there he is. Oh. We need to get him a soccer ball in there. Hey! <laughs> Hockey sock, at least. Not fair, Tito didn't have anyone to punch in there. I've been watching his ticks. Ronaldo has fleas? It was a sick goal. I'm impressed. Well, this time was really sick. Re really, really sick. He pushed me all in. And I was watching him, and he stopped playing with his cards. And through the whole game, every time he had a good hand, he would swish his cards shuffle over and over and over. And he didn't do it one time when he went all in. I attacked and I did my game all in. I didn't expect that he would give me a call. A call. Okay. See what makes the right read and makes the ridiculously sick call. I surprised myself. I think it was just one of those things that just instinct. Nice try, Lao Shea. And now Ronaldo faces a situation where he'll be forced all in while standing in the cage. And the shark cage says, dun 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 dun. Hey, Ronaldo, thank you. Abigado. Ronaldo is still smiling because the bluff attempt was pretty awesome. And his hand will be live here, even though he's in the cage. He is all in, by the way, for 9,000. He's all in for less than an ante. 65. Connor raising with a seven suited. Oh, so we're gonna sweat it out with Ronaldo, huh? And we only know one of Tito's cards. A goal. He is in. As is Jake with Queen Jack. Good job, Volden Jan. You don't want to give Ronaldo the chance to quintuple up, just quadruple up. Well, chances are Jake has just taken the lead. I don't know what Ronaldo has, but he's playing it great. Looks like Jake's betting. Jake more than likely going to give Ronaldo some protection. 
Gets a fold from Connor. Around to Tito. He folds as well. What do we got? Flip him, Jen. Deuce three suited in spades for uh, Ronaldo. Oh, that's terrible. He's drawing super thin. It's not looking good. Well, this would be a first if he actually won this, huh? It's already a first. Chances are Ronaldo will be drawing dead on the turn. Sure enough, he's out of the tournament, which means he can come out of the cage. What if he doesn't want to? Can he just stay in there? No. Aw. Come back. Come back. Come back. <laughs> Welcome him back to exit. It's a pretty brutal. That's what I was thinking. Thanks, for giving me. Thank you. We say goodbye to a legend. Good play. Thank you. Awesome, man. Thank you. Pleasure. Hey, okay, wonderful playing with you. Yeah, that was very good. Good game. Nice playing with you. Ronaldo out in fifth. Okay. Cutest footballer ever. And the first person to be eliminated while standing in the cage. Yeah, não vai ser, não vai entrar na minha lista dos recordes favoritos, mas foi engraçado a minha minha primeira experiência no Shark Cage e eu curti muito. Ronaldo just owning people. I love playing against other pros, but to play against a big name like Ronaldo, super exciting. One of the highlights of my poker career. Playing against Ronaldo was just an amazing experience, really. He's just, just a football legend. He's one of my heroes I was growing up. It was just like a really, really pleasure to play with him. É uma pena porque tava curtindo o jogo. I think I don't need to go to the cave. I go straight to, <laughs> to my room. <laughs> Não dei sorte, eu fiz a jogada, acho que, certa. Ronaldo making an amazing bluff. That should usually work. Yeah, I don't think Ronaldo could have played the hand any better. I think my jaw hit the table a little bit with that. Hey! Um recorde negativo, mas que eu vou lembrar sempre como uma boa experiência aqui. And then there were four. So Jake has extended his chip lead. Connor, the qualifier, is the table short stack. Lines are 20,000, 40,000. Action folded to Tito. Looks like he's jonesing, but nerp. Jake in the small blind has aces. I'd say this hand is raisable. And there is a raise. Connor with jack eight. I'm all in. No, Connor! No! Cool. <laughs> These pros are just too good. Oh. Wrong time. <laughs> Whoops. Connor will need to get very lucky here to survive. Not the flop he was looking for. Pretty much no hope there. It's not got all too much working for him. Other than a winning smile, no. And he's drawing dead on the turn. That's not one of them. So he loses the Connor fire. Wow, you played great. I'll go this way instead. Yeah, great game. Yeah. You played really well. Not much you can do when this guy gets faces. Pretty sub. Yeah. No <laughs> Unlucky Connor. Cody is crushing right now. At least Connor's got a great story for the grandkids, and since he's Irish, he's probably going to be telling it a lot. Oh, I very much enjoyed it, playing with Ronaldo, Tito, and Sam while he was there. Sam is, uh, is a banter merchant. Tito bench pressing Jake. See the lift? Yeah. Nice lift there. Don't tempt him. It was a good crack on the table. I do 20 pounds in three days. I can put on 20 pounds in three days. I think uh, it's very good once you push poker pros with recreational players and celebrities. I think it makes for a great game. I'll definitely take yeah, a lot of positives from the experience today. No, no sweat. <laughs> I feel like I'll start playing a lot more live and hopefully try and qualify for more live events. I'd like to see Tito, I think, take it down. When is the Ortiz action uh, figure coming in? I don't know if, uh, if it will end up that way. I think Jake's experience is massive at the table at the moment. I think he might bring it home. With Connor going out in fourth, we're down to three, and that means the shark cage is now out of play. No, you can't keep the cards. 
I used my bluff card once, and I had to sit down because of it. I just want to take a picture quickly. Jen is loving the fact that there's no more cage shenanigans. This is the fun part. Uh, I think the cage is the fun part. <laughs> this is more oh, just the game now. <laughs> The lines right now are 20,000, 40,000 with a 15,000 ante. Action folded to Jake. Queen, seven of diamonds. 95. And a raise. A six for Jennifer. Easy call. She defends. Heads up to the flop. There is a seven for Jake. Second pair. Cake Jody. The action's been checked to him. He checks behind. Checking for pot control. King of Hearts on the turn. Not a bad card for Jen. Jake roughly a three to one favorite. Jen might think she can bluff slash semi bluff this card. With her flush draw, she leads out. And I don't think Jake's gonna give up a pair so easily on such a wet board. Sure enough, he calls. We go to the river. Well, no heart for Jen, but it is an ace. Top pair. Her secret hidden out. And she checks. And with the cage out of play, I'm not sure Jake takes a stab at this. But maybe he just won't be able to help himself. Well, there may be no shark cage, but there is still the shot clock. Jake's time is ticking. Ten seconds. Five seconds. And there is a valuey smelling bet from Jake. Not a huge bet. And against a player like Jake, I think this is a snap call for a lot of folks. But Jen's... We'll call Jen a thinker. But I do think eventually she makes this call. It is a straighty, flushy board. Jen does have the nut flush blocker, though. She calls. Nice one, Jen. Jake, there's no more cage. Try to rein it in, buddy. Yes, sir. Thanks. So Jennifer wins a decent pot. And crucially, gets a confidence boost. It was good to see Jake losing some momentum. Yes, sir. Thanks. I was getting a little frustrated because I was pretty hard dead but I think I have a really great chance to win. I still have to make the right decisions. So Jen gets a bit back, but Jake is still very much in control. If you'd like to play against the pros in the Bahamas, you can qualify for the next PCA at PokerStars.com. We're three-handed at the PokerStars.com shark cage, and Jake Cody's leading the way since his early cage visits. <laughs> oh. He's been in cruise control. Honestly, I'm feeling really confident. I feel like I'm going to be able to pick up a lot of pots. It's like worth it, like being really aggressive, taking a lot of spots. So I'm feeling good. I feel like I'm the favorite to win. I just thought I'd remind everyone that, like the world's weirdest massage, we are now three-handed. OK. So Jake is the big bad boss. Jen's not far behind. Tito is bringing up the rear. Blinds, 75,000, with a 50,000 ante. Queen 10 for Jake. All in. He shoves on his opponents. Must be nice. Ace king for Jen. I'm all in. She calls all in. I'm all out. And Tito folds. Nah, good one, Teets. So Jen at risk, but ahead. OK, I'll take that. Jake's liking his live cards. Jen's going to win this statistically most of the time. This could change the dynamic at the table. An ace and a king on the flop. Jake trades six outs for four. It's a couple of outs. Don't say it. Don't say it. <laughs> he folded two jacks for sure, right? <laughs> no. The turn card is a three. So unless there's a jack on the river, Jen's going to get a big double up through Jake. We've just seen a change in the chip lead. Nice, Anna. Thank you. 
Chen is now in front by a huge margin. Didn't we just do a whole video about how Jake was in front? It's poker, Joe. Things change. Oh, I can barely keep up. Does anyone now have the new chip lead? We haven't had another hand yet. Get your story straight, Hardigan. Jake, with a seven. Hold it. Shoves. How much is it? 1.2? 1.1? You say 1.1? I said 1.2, 1.1. .1. I'm, I'm not totally sure. I call. Jen calls putting Jake at risk. Might seem weird, but it's standard. You guys just have it out for each other right now. Yes, yep. we do. We're just like, let's get it in. See who wins. Yeah. Drinks later. Stapleton's in. Jake's all in his no, 1.255. <laughs> not if he loses. Oh. Not if he loses, period, or not if he loses his hand? This hand. OK. Actually, period. <laughs> <laughs> OK. Uh, <laughs> Jake saying he's not in for drinks in any scenario is easily funnier than anything I've ever said. Jake still ahead after the flop. Well, there's nothing flops for right? <laughs> like... I know. Come on, dealer. Don't complain. <laughs> the turn sees Jake pair is seven. Gives you smacks. Ten of them, to be precise. Jake has to fade a queen eight or six. It's a queen! The lady wins. Let's and Jake Cody back. goes from hero to zero. Okay, He's going to come in sure. third place here. Thanks. Nice hand. Thanks. Hey, remember before the show where I said this was probably going to come down to the chess champ and the cage fighter? Thanks, Thanks a lot. Thanks a lot. I had to go in the cage twice, but you know, I put myself out there. I, I mean, I think that's what it's there for. It was the chip leader. I was feeling like, man, this is it. I've, I've come back. So that's a little bit annoying, really. I was very happy to see Jake go. <laughs> it was nice to send him on his way. Jen's been pl playing the best, and she has all the chips, so go go with Jen. I'm playing it against Jennifer. She has the chip lead. He's been playing great overall, but I think that I have more experience heads up. I'm feeling really confident. And I, I never quit. I've been in a situation before, in a fight, where I'm the underdog, so I end up winning it. I'm gonna have to get very unlucky to lose. In most universes, I'm gonna be going to Monaco. That's a great feeling. May the better player win. So heads up for a seat in the final. Jen, the big chip leader over Tito. And the blinds are big. 100,000, 200,000. Things are gonna get weird. I'm all in. Jen shoves on Tito. I call. And he calls, and he's way ahead. Domination nation. Tito was so short, Jen had to shove any two, but unfortunately for her, he woke up with a hand. Ace high is looking real good for Tito. A lot of funky stuff can happen, though. And if six deuce of hearts gets there, Jen is going to Monaco. Ace high still ahead after the flop. Jen looking for a six or running straight or flush cards. Only a six now. Deuce changes nothing, like putting a copyright warning before a movie. The river card is an eight. Tito doubles up. Sorry, Jen, but I like it when the best hand wins. Nice hand. <laughs> Even Tito's poker hands have to be registered as lethal weapons. Jen still has the chip lead, but Tito has narrowed the gap. Pocket eights! Seven. He raises. Jen with ace nine. I'm all in. She shoves. Call. And Tito calls and we're off to the races. Like a knockout versus a checkmate, one of these two hands has a slight mathematical advantage. Tito needs his eights to hold. If Jen's ace nine gets there, we have a winner in heat three.
Nine on the flop. Chen hits the flop. Tito hits nothing for once. This isn't really nerve wracking for me. <laughs> I'm cool. Chen's cool in real life, but right now she is <laughs> anything but the Fonz. The turn card is a six. Tito needs an eight to survive. He's drawing to two outs. Jen's one card and five players away from nearly a million dollars. The river card. Is a three. Jen's going to Monaco. She bags a seat in the final. Tito Ortiz coming in second place. Good Don't I feel stupid for calling her an overthinker. Thanks. You're welcome. That was a fun time. Well, at least Tito's walking away instead of being carried out on a stretcher. Jennifer Shahadi takes down heat number three, bringing the Bahamas portion of this tournament to a close. I'm feeling amazing. Just my best moment in poker. I'm really excited to have come out on top. I'm super thrilled. My expectation I was going to be in Monaco. That's what I thought. I mean, I'm, I'm a good enough player to do it. At the end of the day, I had a great time. I got the opportunity to meet some great people. I actually sharpened up my uh, poker skills. I'll live to fight another day. Being only five people away from the biggest score of my poker career, really exciting. It feels great, and I'm really excited about preparing for it, and I love Monaco, so it's an amazing feeling. So Jennifer Shahadi takes the third seat at the final table, where she'll join previous Heat winners Daniel Negreanu and Maria Ho. Next time, we head to Monaco, where a previously shamed shark will look to set the record straight. Time to get some redemption. This is definitely the low point of my career. I just can't be embarrassed again on national television. Ronnie Barda doesn't want to get bluffed by a beauty again. Can't have that happen again. And we introduce the qualifier. From Norway, Kevin Brotai. Thank you. It's like all over again, deja vu. I think we should call you Miss Norway, just to be safe. Was this girls against me? I love it, yeah, of course. Three girls at the table. Just have to keep myself together. I'm not going to let these girls get in my head this time around. Oh my god. <laughs> Don't do that again. Oh! <laughs> <laughs>